Elon Musk, the billionaire behind Tesla Motors and SpaceX, wants to revolutionize public transport. In 2017, he held an event at SpaceX's California headquarters, showcasing the latest technology for what he believes is the future of intercity travel, an entirely new transport system called Hyperloop. What this is really all about is advancing the state of transportation, trying new things that have never been done before that can make an incredible difference to people's lives. But is Hyperloop ready to usher in a new age of mass transit? Or is it just a billionaire's pipe dream? In 1829, a competition was held to find the best locomotive engine for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway in Northern England. George Stevenson's rocket won first prize, posting a top speed of 38 kilometers per hour. Widely credited as the world's first steam locomotive, the rocket transformed how people traveled between cities. Almost two centuries on, Musk is hosting the modern-day equivalent of that competition. And teams of engineers from around the world have come to Los Angeles to compete head-to-head. -head. The aim is to bring Hyperloop one step closer to reality. But what exactly is Hyperloop? In simple terms, the system is made up of two parts, a tube designed to generate very low air pressure and a carriage or pod that can travel through the tube without touching the ground. To levitate, you can use either air bearings, basically blasting air to make the thing levitate like air hockey table, or you can use magnets. When you do that, you create levitation. Linear induction motors then propel the pod along the tube. You get pushed at high speed and you will stay at a high speed a long time because you, very, you don't have friction from the ground and you're in a vacuum, you don't have very low friction from the air, so you can just cruise for miles. The fastest trains in the world can travel at speeds approaching 600 kilometers per hour. But even those that levitate are limited by air resistance. Today, the teams have their chance to run their prototype pods inside SpaceX's very own vacuum tube. We just saw a, a pod traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. We think we can go above that, but we'll have to prove it later. Pod-mounted cameras capture all the action. Three, two, one, launch. Congratulations to the war team. That pod just went uh, 324 kilometers an hour, over 200 miles an hour. It's hoped that full-size pods running through a much longer tube might approach and even break the speed of sound. That's over 1,200 kilometers per hour. That would connect cities like LA and San Francisco or Munich to Berlin to German cities in around 30 minutes. But even those taking part in the competition admit they are a long way from making Hyperloop a reality. The civil engineering part of it has to be able to be solved to a point where you can deploy a Hyperloop tube across a state for you know, a thousand kilometers. You need to solve a lot of engineering challenges ahead, like energy and terminal challenges, and the cost, of course. And beyond the financial and engineering challenges involved, safety is a key concern. If people are ever going to travel in this, it needs to be absolutely and completely safe. Traveling at 700 miles per hour is inherently dangerous. In the face of such overwhelming obstacles, some argue that Hyperloop is destined to remain a billionaire's pipe dream. Even so, a project of this nature may well produce unintended benefits in design and engineering that could help shape our future.